What's happening everybody? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Scott Mendenhall, where we cover all things one wheel and try to inspire the world to think positively, get escape from reality. Today we're hoping to give you a moment of just zen and escape from the crazy world, at least here in the United States, as it is election day where we're supposed to be going out and voting and today i thought man beautiful day in minnesota i'm gonna ride to where i need to vote and on my one wheel why not it's a great way to get the stress off enjoy a ride and so hang tight with us today we're gonna cover topics from foot pads to grip tape to carbon fiber fenders to all of it in between. It's going to be a lot of fun while you get to hang with us. If you want a different narrative, different music, man, just mute me, put on your own music and enjoy just a float session of just fall here in Minnesota. If you follow our stories around here long enough, you know that just a couple weeks ago we raced in about a foot of snow and it is gone because there is a real wrestle between fall and winter in Minnesota and every day it's a different battle of who's winning today fall is clearly winning as it is in the 60s so gorgeous but to be honest with you I do miss the snow I want the snow I think this time of year you want it tend to get colder it makes the holidays feel more holiday-ish if that's such a thing and so riding on my way to place a vote that I hope makes an impact Regardless, uh, as a United States citizen, it's our freedom to vote, and I don't want to miss voting. Since I turned 18, I have voted in every election that I was possible or eligible to vote in, which has been all of them. I have voted in Florida, Ohio, Illinois, and Minnesota. So four different states I've had the privilege to vote in, and every one of them has been very different in how you vote and what you need. Uh, heading on my way to vote here and I started thinking oh no do I need my driver's license or an ID so clearly I, it's funny how every four years you vote and you forget what actually transpires while you vote I couldn't remember if I needed an ID to vote I just kind of made sense so I'm gonna go in there and say my name is Scott Mendon all they want some kind of proof that it was me and so I wrestling well do I turn back and eventually I turn back home to go get my ID because I just figured that would be what was the wise thing to do so I didn't get there have to come back and do all the hoobla all over again so turning around to get my ID headed back to answer your question well do you maybe you're watching this before you go vote well do I need my ID no no anyone can walk into the location of your voting and just say your name and then you can vote that's all I, I they asked what my name I said my name and then they said, great, and that's it. Like Christian or Lily could have walked in there today and said my name and voted for me. However, Scott is kind of a, a guy's name. I don't know if anyone questioned that. They just said, okay, cool. Obviously you have to sign for it, but nonetheless, very odd that you don't need your driver's license. Something that I probably will not forget moving forward. Recently, we dropped a video about the grip tape that we're riding on this new favorite. It is, it is so good. If you're looking for some new grip tape for your one wheel, the new grip tape or the latest grip tape from Craft & Ride is a must have. Putting it on my pint, love it on the XR. My kids wanna install it on all of theirs. Uh, I know some of our riders that race, they want to install it. It's just one of those grip tapes that it does what it, I mean, you're, you're on it. Now, a little bit of this, you gotta understand, I don't do heaps of tricks where I'm, I'm doing some of those Bodhi style tricks or other people's tricks. I'm riding to, to carve, I'm riding to drop off of curbs, I'm riding through trails, but I'm not doing uh, some crazy tricks that I love watching Bodhi do that I'm like, how are you doing that? So I don't need my feet to move around. So it could be a little too grippy for some of you that like to do tricks and you might not care for it. The best way I described this in the video before, and it has stuck with me to describe the grip tape from Craft and Right, it's like Velcro for your feet to your board. It's awesome. It truly is. The other part of the setup here, uh, and I, I, this is one of my favorite setups on my board, is the carbon fiber fender. It's the latest one from One Wheel. It's the Galaxy 
carbon fiber fender which in the right light looks blue in the other right light it looks purple it's it's one of those that it's hard to tell you what color it is so it's really cool to just say it's the galaxy fender from uh, one wheel and if you want a quieter ride you want less dust in in water coming up onto your foot pads i highly recommend one of these carbon fiber fenders from one wheel that gasket that they have put around the edge is so awesome it is just genius well done one wheel on that it's a must-have as i'm grabbing my um, license headed back to get the voting done actually my lovely wife we're both wearing american flag socks today <laughs> how cute is that I, I didn't notice that until I'm seeing our feet here. And she's going to get my license that she had because we are selling our house. There's the for sale sign. And we've had a, quite a bit of showings. And we were just like, oh, you know, let's, uh, let's make sure we can hide this stuff. So we just put it in her purse. And that's how we roll. So that's why she has my license. And you're, you're like, this is too much information. I didn't come for this. I, we're just having a good conversation today with everyone. I, I hope that if you're in the United States, by the time you're watching this, it's, if you haven't voted, that this reminds you to go out and vote. It doesn't matter who you're voting for. Okay? This isn't about, hey, you should vote for who I voted for. Nope. You vote on the, the convictions that you have studied upon and you arrive on those convictions and goes this person will represent those things best then vote that way uh, this isn't about who i am choosing is the best person for everyone no that's what's so beautiful about freedom that we can choose to vote for who they think will do what you as an individual wants them to do now does that mean i have to agree no i think i can have an intelligent conversation with disagreeing on things as long as i always use a filter of what does love require me to do uh, and that's always my my filter of okay is love require me to yell back at this individual or to to speak disrespectful to no the answer is always no and so this isn't a video about telling you to go vote for who i voted for this is about hey exercise your rights and get out there and vote at the end of the day i am a united states citizen love this country favorite country i've ever been to and lived in and so i i'm i'm a fan i'm wearing uh, american flag socks not a democratic party or a republican party or an independent party socks i am about the united states and it thriving and being better so there's there's where i sit on it you're like well, are you going to tell us who i voted for i voted for who i thought would, is going to do a great job <laughs> that's it uh, that's how i voted well, let's get off the political stuff and move back to what we all love and that is one wheel stuff now on to the hoosier whisper treaded tire that i'm riding there many of you know that i'm not a fan of the hoosier logo still a thing but i just put this treaded tire on getting ready for the next set of snowstorms coming in next week i'm not choosing this out of a preference of i like this one better than the float life burris clab treaded tire I chose this one to test it first. I want to see which one rides better in the snow. This this one, the Hoosier Whisper treaded tire has bigger gaps between the tread. So I think it's going to bite the snow better, but I'm going to put both of them on. We'll do a review later on which one rides better in the snow, uh, but we're just starting here. I already know that I prefer the Burris just on a normal ride in on trails than the Hoosier. I feel like the Burris you carve so much better. It, it just, you just fall into the carving on your one wheel. Whereas this, the, the treaded tire from flight fins, it's, it's a little bit more effort to turn. It's a little bit more, I, I, I gotta be mindful uh, of turning as I have to be mindful of this um, bobcat here that does not see me and cannot hear me. If you see you there forward, there's a guy walking a dog and I'm just waiting to make some kind of eye contact with the guy so he doesn't hit me. So I give him a little nod there. Hey, can I go through? And then the guy with the pup gets to go through as well. We are going to take on the way to vote here. We are going to hit some trails, uh, some really epic trails on the way to vote, which is pretty fun to know that you get to do all the above here in Minnesota. 
And so back to the tire, it's not a preference of I prefer this one over the other. It's more of uh, seeing which one does better in snow. Even back in the summer when I said we're going to test this in the snow, this is making good on that conversation of, hey, we're coming back to uh, do that. We want to make sure that our, our tires we stand by the ones we ride. I know that all of our racers that race on Sunday right now, they all want a treaded tire for their pints. Right now, I ride the Hoosier tire for the pint. I'm waiting in anticipation for Craft and Ride to drop their treaded tire. I really want to try that. But I don't know if our, our racers are going to be able to wait that long. They, they know snow's coming, and we'll be racing again next week in the snow. And they don't want... They, they just feel like it's too unfair too unfair of an advantage as i have lily just giving me the stare of like yes i agree with that it's not fair as she is in the office getting work done as well as Kristen. but Kristen, she's the noob that sits there and goes ah whatever i don't need a new tire i will win either way as she just gives a smile of like that's correct we do have a great race coming this sunday we're amped on it we just dreamt it up today uh, preview is we're going to ride through every setting in the app and race through those three or four different laps on trails and see which one we all prefer, which one we ride better, and if it actually hinders you in different settings. So it will be a great race to, to jump into as we're hitting some trails by my house on the way to go get my vote on. I love the abilities with one wheel that you're not stuck to pavement or trails or you just wherever you really want to go, you can go. And I used to say the only weakness one wheel ever had was steps, but I've seen that's been debunked by so many better riders than me. They've gone down them. No problem. So thank you for proving me wrong on that. And if you're on the fence about one wheels and you're watching this, I'm just telling you, one wheels are, are so amazing. They allow you to escape for a moment of the craziness of your world. And when you're out there floating, your mind just escapes. You get to take in the world around you. So if you're on the fence, get one. I would love to hear people's comments down below why you chose to get a one wheel. If you're still watching almost 12 minutes in drop a comment down why did you choose to get a one wheel i know for me it became uh, uh, a reason of getting a one wheel was because i started on a boosted board winter happened the first year i had a boosted board and then i put it away and i was like wait what there's not you couldn't even ride that thing it wasn't even it was no and uh, i got an xr because i wanted the range that i had with my boosted board and I really haven't rode my boosted board very much outside of just comparison videos, if you will, and videos to to compare an electric skateboard to. I don't ever choose to ride that because you're limited to pavement. And this, as you're seeing, you, you can get about anywhere in any kind of terrain. And you can customize this so much better than the boosted board. Whereas the customization on a boost board is like non-existent, really colored of wheels you can change maybe and size. I know there's things you can change, but this, you can really make it your own personality. You can change the colors. Uh, this is one of my favorite color schemes. Looking to redo it as Christmas is coming around. You need a Christmas edition, don't you? And so we'll be changing that out shortly as well. And I, to be honest with you, the trails that I'm riding here, I've never rode it with my one wheel. I rode it the other day on my fat bike. And I was like, I got to hit this with my XR. And I didn't really know where I was going. I thought I was turning back around here. I was getting lost. <laughs> That's what made it so much fun was like, hey, I, I'm getting to learn a new experience. And the truth be known, I had to mute the track because I was talking to my mom the whole time. So I'm doing a lot here. I'm recording a video. I'm riding the one wheel. I'm learning a new way to get to where I need to vote. And I'm talking to my mom. And thanks for asking. She's doing great. She she was asking me what I was up to, and I was like, hey, I'm voting. She's like, I did that so yesterday. Like, actually, she said, I did that so last week. My mom, she's a fast voter. She got hers done. I did not. Rolling to do it right now. My wife and I had to take shifts because we have eight wonderful children, and she voted in the morning. We ate lunch, and then I am on my way to vote and I'm glad I got to do it. And again, here on my way to vote, I was supposed to turn here, but I don't make the turn. You know why? Because I'm so distracted with the camera in my hand, talking to my mom and making sure we make a decent video for your enjoyment, just watching somebody float uh, around. 
So I'm going to turn here totally the wrong direction and have to turn back around. But that leads me to one final point. If you're still listening here, here's a thought for you today. It's okay if you make wrong turns. The quicker we admit to the wrong turns and turn back around and correct it, less collateral damage. But the longer we continue to pretend like it was the right way, the more collateral damage we have. If in life you've made some wrong turns in your life, turn around, go back and make the right turn. Correct the issue. Apologize to someone that you need to apologize to. Stop going down the wrong path when you know it's the wrong path. Turn around as fast as possible. I could have continued on that path, but it would have got me nowhere. I would have gotten further from the destination. Turning around was the wise thing to do, and that is so true in life, in our finances, in our relationships, in our work, in working out, parenting, whatever you're doing. If you know you're headed the wrong direction, turn around. Okay. That said, we're about to wrap this one up because I'm headed into the school to vote. Thank you, everybody that watches our videos every week from the races to the reviews to just a floating sesh with us. We love producing this stuff. We love giving you escape from reality of what's happening in the world. And we love making you smile or laugh or make you think differently. We love all of those things. And we are so grateful that you click our, our thumbnails and you watch the videos and you drop comments down below. We try to do our best to respond to every single comment good or bad you'll get a response from us most of the time and so i'm grateful for that i'm thank thankful for all of you that tune in every sunday at 10 a.m to watch it's so much fun to have you watching with us we we honestly can't do this without you so thank you very 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 much we have a couple more videos dropping this week we got a few product reviews we also are going to give you our pick between the XR and Pint, which one we say is better and that you should buy if you're on the fence for a Christmas gift for someone. We're gonna share those things this week or maybe next, but those are the next videos coming up. Thank you, everyone. Would you subscribe to the channel? Turn on the bell notification so you know when things drop and drop a comment down below. We'd love to hear from you because this one is over.